spare a thought for the media students of the future. Faced with the most taxing of exam questions, namely why did Philip Schofield leave this morning? Candidates may well scratch their heads at the fathomless complexity of the subject. For despite acres of analysis on the subject, from allegations of below-stairs power struggles to feudal friendships, it still remains unclear as to exactly why the presenter left. Especially since colleagues at the key side of his hasty departure offered, albeit muted, assurances that Phil would be missed. What is clear, however, is that once Schofield became the story, it was perhaps only a matter of time before he would go. After all, how can viewers concentrate on content when they are distracted by clue searching for signs of Freuder between co-hosts? And in fairness to both the departing presenter and ITV, official statements have pointed out that Philip Schofield's decision to step down from this morning was, as his statement made clear, a decision agreed between Philip and ITV. Free speech has been taken hostage by extremist trans mob, says Annabelle Sanderson surely then that is the end of the matter? After all, there are other things to worry about. We have in Putin a deranged despot whose Ukrainian offensive could spill into all-out global conflict at any moment. Closer to home, strike-ravaged public services threaten our ability to work, travel and even our very well-being. All of which is framed by the enduring cost of living crisis. So plenty there to trouble the mind. Schofield has, of course, occupied the this morning sofa for over 21 years. So naturally his departure is of some interest. Yet as an observer and one-time contributor to the program, part of me can't help feeling that his decline is being rather too gleefully received. A reflection of a build em up to knock em down culture which is as dispiriting as it is depressing. Since it says more about us as human beings than it does about the high-octane world in which those in the public eye live and move. Don't miss web just accepted 20 years worth of migrants in one year, says Rob Bates, latest, relishing the defenestration of a well-known figure has in itself become a blood sport. One day you're cock of the walk. Next, you walk. On a personal note I was never treated with anything other than courtesy by both Phil and Holly during my appearances on this morning. But then again, why wouldn't I be? We were all just professionals doing our job. As a journalist you'd join them on the sofa to discuss events in the news or for a debate with a fellow commentator. Given the breathless pace of the show, there was little opportunity for anything other than a few pleasantries with the hosts before the red light went on and it was time to discuss topics of the day. And since this was live television, okay it's not going down a coal mine but it had its own pressures, the tyranny of the ticking clock framed all debate. Doubtless with Philip Schofield now supplanted by persons as yet unknown and caretaker presenters steering this morning as Holly takes a break, the story of this TV divorce will rumble on. But with so many other things to worry about, gleefully chewing over the entrails of the Holly and Phil breakup is just one thing to many to keep me up at night.